Jacques Webster, popularly known as Travis Scott, born April 30th, 1992 in Houston, Texas, father of two, fashion designer, founder of Catcalls Jack, and has a McDonald's burger named after him. He released one of the biggest albums, if not the biggest album, rap album in 2023. He worked and produced for the likes of Kanye West before even dropping a mixtape. In standard rapper fashion, he also dropped out of college. He joined the XXL class of 2013 and riding off of the hype, he dropped his debut mixtape, Al Faro. It was met with good reviews and was immediately recognized as a protege of both Kanye and Kid Cudi. A year later, he released his second mixtape, Days Before Rodeo, a dark and grimy mixtape that, sound, that sounded better produced than Alpha Error. In 2015, he dropped his first studio album, Rodeo, with the single Antidote and instantly became a chart-stopping hit. But he would receive a bit of kickback after dropping Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight, and his collab album with Quavo, as critics and fans didn't enjoy them as. In 2018, Travis would drop Astro World, named after his theme park, and instantly gave us a classic. Given electrifying performances, some of his concerts and tours have resulted into the loss of lives and causing multiple injuries, taking a five year hiatus and dropping Utopia that showed how much Travis has evolved as an artist. It's 2023, and Travis is at the height of his career, broken up with his girlfriend has a day named after his album in Texas, partnered with Nike, and is everything from artist to businessman. I see why he's your favorite. I get 